For unto us a child is born. On this glad Christmas Eve, we hail him. Praise to you, Lord, God, everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Let us worship God, for he shall reign forever and ever. Veiled in flesh, the Godhead seen, veiled incarnate. did come. And he stood there without moving or saying a word all Christmas day until it was night. And then he disappeared into the forest. The Bible says that greater love has no man than this. And he laid down his life for his friends. Baby Jesus came into this world and he was despised and rejected by everything on this earth. And he lived the life that we should have lived and died the death that we should have died. What a Christmas present. Back in 1939 in May, the USS Squalus was a new submarine of our Navy. It was on a test run off the coast of New Hampshire. The sub was the length of an entire football field and had 59 men for its crew. This was the final test run, and it was to dive from the surface down to 50 feet in 60 seconds. But something went drastically wrong and did not stop at 50 feet. It sunk to the bottom some 250 feet beneath the surface. Twenty-six members of the crew were killed instantly. Three of the compartments filled with water. For 40 hours, 33 men were trapped in the squalus. At that point in history, no one had ever rescued a submarine from that depth. The man had given up all hope. But there was this ship with this revolutionary device called a diving bell, and it arrived. In one of the greatest rescue operations in naval history, all 33 men were brought to the surface, and that bell saved. Just for a moment, put yourself in that submarine at the bottom of the ocean. You were convinced that you were going to die, that you would never see the light of day again. Unless someone intervened, You were sunk, literally. I want to tell you this evening, that's the meaning of Christmas. God intervened. He broke into history and sent his one and only son, God in the flesh, to live a perfect life, to die on the cross, that our sins might be forgiven. When the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under law, to redeem those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. Let's pray. Father, this evening we are reminded once again of the Christmas story. That God, you broke into history and you sent your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, because we need divine intervention. Every single one of us in this room is a sinner. And we need Jesus in our lives. Desperately, the light of salvation. We need redemption. Because we can never earn our salvation on our own. And Father, we know that when we give our lives to you and you come in and breathe your spirit of life into our hearts, we are adopted into your family. Because before that happens, we are your enemies. And now, Lord, your friend. So for those in this room that do not know Jesus, I ask that you would speak to their hearts tonight. That they would trust in him alone for their salvation, for eternal life, because you bring redemption. You bring adoption through your divine intervention. And for those of us that know you, may we leave this place remembering tonight the true meaning of Christmas. That you came to save sinners like ourselves. And we will give you the praise for what you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me remind you one more time as we light these candles.
Jack and Nancy are going to come and light the, the Christ candle right now. And then the elders are going to come and light off the Christ candle and walk down the aisles. But if your candle is lit, leave it straight up and down and let your person next to you take their unlit candle and do it that way. Okay? Would you stand and sing with me?
Hold your candle up for a second. Remember that this represents the light of God, the light of Jesus, who is the way and the truth and the life. And as we place our trust in him, we ask as, as Christians that he would fan into flame this next year, this light, that we'd be passionate about Jesus above everything else in this world for what he's done for our lives. Amen. Let's, let me blow out this candle. Merry Christmas. Go in peace.